In this tutorial, we're going to go over the playback screen. Uh, go ahead and click the playback button here. That's going to take us to the playback screen. Uh, just really briefly, depending on whether or not you've recorded anything for the current day, uh, you may or may not see uh, some 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 footage here recorded color coded footage here in the grid at the bottom uh, these colors are significant if you see red it means that uh, the camera has recorded because it detected motion if you see blue it means that uh, the camera was set for continuous recording for the specified amount of time and and uh, it's just a continuous recording or you may see nothing that means that the camera wasn't set to record you can also see you, you may also see a combination of both because you can set a camera up to record motion for certain periods of time and then continuous and then not record at all for certain periods of time so you may see nothing here you may see a combination of colors you may see just one color but uh, this this grid represents the hours of the day in military time and uh, the the colors reflect the type of recording that the that the particular camera uh, recorded to the hard drive uh, what you need to do if you want to view footage for a particular camera, um, the first thing you need to do is choose the date that you want to view footage for. And you do that by going over here to this drop down menu. And when you click the, the little arrow and the drop down, uh, you'll get a calendar. And you can choose a date. I chose a date there. It's just today's date. And this part is really important you won't see your camera listed you, you won't see your camera footage here in this area unless you put a check in the box to the left of the camera this allows you to pick and choose which cameras are displayed here you may you may only want to view footage from camera 1 6 and 8 and and 11 and uh, r rather than viewing footage from all of the from all of the cameras so that's why this this system is set up so that you you have to check the boxes you want to view footage footage from we right now are only recording from camera one so it's only gonna let us click in the box to the left of camera one so we went ahead and put a check in that box there and we're able to view the footage for that particular day that we chose here in the calendar and you'll see at the top of the grid where the numbers are there's a, a we, we call it a scrubber it's a green scrubber and you can click and drag this to different points of time where video exists for this particular camera so you can jump jump to any point that there is video footage on the hard drive for and just go back and forth and when you let go it starts playing back from that point in time and you you go through the same procedure whether you have one camera or 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 16 cameras you you do this for each one and and uh you just use the scrubber to to view the video and if you go over here to the right column uh, you'll see a legend that explains what the different colors represent for the recorded footage in the grid. But you'll also see some other buttons here. Um, you can change the font color of the time and date stamp that's in the video. Sometimes if you have darker footage, you may want it to be white. If it's lighter footage, maybe you know you have a camera pointed outside in the daylight you may want to change this to black to make it more visible you can change the playback speed you can go anywhere from 1x which is normal speed that's what the default is all the way up to 16x uh, you can use this button here's the zoom button you click that to zoom in on a particular screen it's gonna double the size by default it's going to be at 320 by 240 you click that it's going to double the size to 640 by 480 
this button here takes a photo, a, a bitmap of the frame that's currently playing. So you just click that button and it'll save a frame in bitmap format. Uh, this is the print button if you have a printer connected. You click this, you'll get your print dialog and it will print it'll print a copy of that that frame that was playing when you click the print button and this last button here is the backup button and when you click the backup button it takes you to the backup screen and just briefly the way that the way that this process works when you have footage that you want to back up and maybe it's something that you want to put on CD and you know give to someone else. Maybe as a police officer, you need to you need to give a, a copy of an incident. You you have to first you have to first create a backup file to your hard drive, and once the once the backup file has been created there, then you can go through the process of burning it to a CD along with a special player that's necessary to play back the file, and you can burn both of those onto a CD and then hand that off to someone else and they'll be able to play that back on a Windows XP or Windows Vista machine. So for instance, let's say uh, for let's say we want to back up footage from camera one. Um, we'll go ahead and select it here. And the time that you choose here, again it's in military time, it is going to be relative to the date that you chose in the calendar before this pop-up came up so make sure that you make sure that you have the the date that you want to uh, pull footage from and create a backup make sure that you have the right date chosen in the calendar so we're choosing camera one and if we look down here in the grid we'll see that uh, we have some footage in the 10 o'clock hour the 11 o'clock hour uh, we'll go ahead and We'll say hour 10, uh, five minutes, zero seconds to hour 10, six minutes, zero seconds. So that's one minute that we're going to back up. The format you want to choose is DVR. You always want to choose DVR. The EXE format will, will work for really short files that aren't longer than about 15 or 20 seconds but just to be safe D the DVR format will work for for any length you don't want to make these files too large because the computer does have to process the file and you you may have to wait quite some time for it to render the file uh, to your hard drive so you really want to you really want to focus in on the 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 time the time frame that you need to create a backup for so if there's an incident that you know occurs and the duration is a grand total of about two minutes there really isn't any need to back up footage that is five minutes before the incident and five minutes afterwards because you'll you'll have to sit and wait for the file to be rendered to the hard drive so you you want to make sure that you you focus in on the the exact incident that you want to to create a backup for nothing more nothing less and this drop down here this shows you where it's going to back the file up to depending on the number of hard drives you have you'll have multiple options and then you click OK and you'll get a dialog that comes up it'll tell you when the backing up is finished and that's it you just remember that location and that's where your file is going to be backed up to I uh, will explain uh, in another tutorial uh, how you can burn that file to a disk and play it back on another computer.